All right, YouTube, we're here with Joey Lynch, who's won four locals in a row with an Edison format playing what deck, Joey? Uh, what are you going to call it? I like saying Mock in a Mill, but mm. Hamster, Brag, Kais, <laughs> <Mocking us. laughs> doesn't really matter. And before we begin, any, any shout outs? Uh, shout out to uh, Epic Cards and Games, where we play. Mm -hmm. We do, we host Edison uh, Wednesdays and Saturdays. Pretty big turnouts, I would say, like 20 plus each time. So. Right, right. Uh, hold, on, hold on, one more team. You have how many YCS tops? Oh, nah. Six, <laughs> right? Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's get started with the deck. Right, anyways, yeah, so for the Machina, play three gear frame, uh, three fortress, and three force. I think it's Ooh. pretty important to max out on these really? because you want to mill. You definitely want to mill this. This is the payoff for the deck. This is like why you want to play this deck is four. So yep. you want, obviously want to play three. And three gear frame, obviously. Um, comparing this to like Bayou Turbo, uh, there's the similarities, the same concept of Raikou and the traps and stuff like that, but Bayou has like the, the, the more power plays, but I would say this is a more consistent version right. because of gear frame. If you were to go up against like Bayou Turbo, uh, gear frame is nice because it's just bigger than their starters. So like you can get, a lot, yeah. you can get a lot of value early game. And then, like, late game, you kind of just go for an OTK or a push and just like, kind of, like, use your resources wisely with these cards. So this is just the Machina engine? That's just the Machina, yeah. And then, obviously, uh, play the ha three Hamster, three, uh, three Raikou, yeah, and then, two, I guess, two Kaias. It's like the... Two Kaias? I guess, I guess an engine, yeah. Oh, I thought you were playing three. I like two. Uh, okay. Three's a little too many. You can clog on this card. This card's really bad drawing going second because... If you draw going second against their set Raikou, then you're like never getting it off. Right. You're super far behind. That makes sense. But three uh, is, yeah. This is really, uh, really, uh, what do we, in modern Yu Gi Oh, we call them starters. It's like right, a starter right. card. So I like to maximize the starters. You consider Raikou a starter too? or? Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, because you can get to your, you can turn your averages on live and then get to, a, you know, your push. Right, right. So, yeah. So with the, like the, the gear frames and the Raikos and the hamsters has nine. Nine good opening plays. Yeah. And then I guess like something different is I play two Lilas. Concept of Lila is pretty simple. Kind of just like wanna summon Lila before you summon Fortress to bait out right. like D Prisoner bottomless. Uh you were talking about playing uh uh the Nolan spell, no extermination, yeah. But it's a spell, so I'd rather just mill a monster. Oh, cause, oh yeah, because you, yeah. you play triple. We'll, we'll get to the spell yeah, soon, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, I get it. So I'd rather, for Avarice, I'd rather mill a Lila. Uh, Car Trooper is just a good. Obviously, yeah. Yeah, it's a machine. Combos with Fortress. A little tech, uh, I like to want to talk about this card is... Yeah, that was surprised to see this. Uh, so what made me like, want to play this card is like post side. I wanted more cards to set to play around like Knock. Right. And in and of itself, it's actually like a pseudo win condition against certain matchups, like frogs. Frogs, like yeah. Clear. Destroys frogs. Uh, helps like when you go for game, you just summon in, player on gores. Mm -hmm. And um, it's also like one of the only good comeback mechanics against the, like an established board. They have like a, a board of like synchros or against dragons. You can like set this and just like come back into the game. So it's a pretty cool card. This is a monster card that can, another monster I can mill. So I don't know, I like it. Gores. Gores, yep. It's my favorite card in, in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. Really? Yeah. Why? Whenever, uh, whenever everyone changes their uh, Facebook pictures to their favorite monster, this is what I change it to. Oh, really? I didn't know. Uh, the reason I like Gores the most is because what got me into competitive Yu-Gi-Oh, like one of the aspects was uh, the whole the thing about playing around Gores. You want to attack right. to the lowest to highest. And I was like, oh, man, that unlocks something in my brain where like I just want to like learn more and more about mm -hmm. Yu-Gi-Oh. So that's why I like Gores. That's a good story. Uh, play better. We saw you go in with that with Dark End yeah. in, the, in the finals <laughs> against John right there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, plagues you just mill. Another, yeah. another thing about these uh, foreign uh, Machina cards, I've had these since Miami 2013. Really? That long? Yeah. Oh, wow. Why'd you... I found them in my box, and then I was like, oh, I'm starting to play. I, I started to get Edison, and I found these in my box. I was like, yeah, I'm going to try to play th these Machina right. cards, and then it turned out to be like a really nice Did you play Machina in Miami? No. No, you didn't. No, I played Mermel. Yeah, I remember. But, uh, yeah, yeah. I remember talking to Bortle. I was like, hey, should I buy these uh, foreign Machina cards? He's like, nah, you're Bozo. Four cards are ass. <laughs> and I just got him anyways because right, right. I was a Bozo back then. So, 
Um, I still have a bozo, but no, uh, for, stop. for spells. Charge. <laughs> Charge. Yeah, we play Raikou and Lila, so good yeah. starter. Um, three avarices. This is like one of the payoffs to play in the deck. Yep. So like, you know, Bayou plays like Burial, Return, Dark Arm, all that stuff. This is what we pretty much replace it with. Pot avarice. Engine wise. Yep. One thing about this deck is it has so many freaking good top decks. So you can just like out of nowhere come back into the game with like top deck gear frame, top deck force, top deck avarice. So it's like nine just solid insane top decks to get, get you back into the game. So you're like never out of the game. It yeah. Like. I've seen you rip it a, a few times. Yeah. yeah, it makes sense. MST heavy, staples, right? Yep. Uh, for traps, solemn, dust shoot, mirror force, torrential. The one ofs. Nice one ofs. Uh, bottomless is in 3D prison. Three. Yeah, yeah, I like the 3D prison, and along with the regaki break. Uh, these are how you come back into the game. It's like right. in Edison, there's hardly any like comeback mechanics, so you have to play like cards that can out establish boards. Right. So yeah, I play the one regaki break because it's kind of cool with the deck where you can like gear frame, add fortress, and break it, and then force back the fortress. Yep. I'm sorry, you're not playing two. Uh, I have some inside. But how yeah. many? How many cards are in I your deck? Did, I, this is forty cards. I did have card. multiple Rigeki breaks, but drawing multiples is like yeah, it's bad. Pretty bad. So just so forty, one. right? This forty cards okay, in the main, cool. yeah. So you know, side or extra? Go side. Side. Extra is pretty whatever. But uh, for side, two Cyber Dragon. I usually side this all like every game. It's like almost a main deck worthy card, but. Mm -hmm. I saw Mario was main deck in it. Yeah. Um, I like it going second a lot. Yep. You can just summon Tech Brico. You know, right in the mirror. It's pretty nice. Um, yeah, we got a bunch of traps. These are the, the rest of them are trap cards. Really? Okay. So, yeah, this is the concept of the side. This iron wall. Everyone's playing like no meta cross out. System uh, down. System down. <laughs> yeah. For the, I mean this local. So I just tried to play this. Um, it's pretty nice. It's also just good against like other things that aren't being cited against you. Like they're opposing D prisons and bottomlesses, which is really good against this deck. Yep. Um, and, and Crow, they side the In some matchups, like Bayou, it's just right. insane on it. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's so, really good yeah. in that matchup. So, yeah. And that's, like, one of the, this is the best decks, so you might as well just, I don't know, <laughs> play Iron Wall, right? Right, right. But it just has the plus to play around the, the, the downs and the crossouts. So, like, whenever I slide in Iron Wall, I want to put in, like, traps. I want to take out the D prisons and bottomless, so I slide into two more Regeki breaks for the bottomlesses, and then I'll take out the D prisons for compulses. Ooh, three compulses. Yeah, compulse is really nice. It's like one of the like what I kept say, saying earlier is like a stat, adding a established board is pretty important. So I side this going second against like anything that mm -hmm. summons from the synchro deck or extra deck, whatever you want to call it. Do you ever compulse your gear frame? Yeah, and yeah. it has uh, those applications yeah. as well where you can right. just like play around the stuff, get another search of the gear frame. So yeah, cool. compulse is really good in this deck. Yeah, and then I just play in the I just put in the Starlight Road for like all these traps, mm -hmm. right? And then two dust, just like good against black wings, and then two two rogues. Yeah, it's good going second against Kais. So, yeah. All right, yeah, that's a so lot of traps. Bunch of traps on the side, yeah. But yeah, I was playing around with it a lot. I was, I was doing like before I was doing Arwell, I was doing like Crow and like mm -hmm. Sorcerer with like stuff like that. Because because you have a lot of light, especially when you put the Cyber Dragon in. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, the extra is pretty like whatever. I, I have the two Chimera decks out of the space. Right. Uh, Armory Arm, Catastrophe, Android, Brionic, Boyo. It's only so, Plague, right? You're only Tuner. Oh, I yeah. noticed you don't play brain control either. Yeah, brain's pretty nice. I mean, brain's not. Brain's like one of those like power cards that wins a game, but like it's also just like a card that can be like dead in your hand for half the Finally, game. Finally, someone agrees with me. <laughs> I mean, it's. I don't. I don't. It's like definitely. <laughs> I can see where they. Uh, this is a huge argument about that. Yeah. But uh, I just want all my cards to be live, like exactly every, at, just, at every point in the game. You're just making my point. All right. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Good. <laughs> But yeah, it was oh, just, you do play a Tempest. Someone was asking if you play that I, card. I, I messed up in that game. I, I didn't even think about it. I just now put this into the extra deck. Oh, because, yeah. I, I mean, I forgot what that card does. But yeah, you just I had a game that that that, that tournament with uh, in, in that one game. But yeah, Tempest, you go with go, go into it with Lila and play. I guess. Oh, okay, so, okay. And then this card. Yeah, that card's burn. decent. This card just comes up randomly to play, play around Gores. You can attack around to like a face down Raikou and then just. Yeah, and then kill, kill him. him. Yep. With the uh, invincible gorse token. <laughs> we'll <talk about. laughs> we don't talk about that. Yeah. Uh, right, Black, Black Rose, Rose, Stardust, Colossal, Thought Ruler, Dark End, and then Godems. Godems is the card you can make with uh, Plague and Fortress. Yep. And then you can like. You don't need Earth. Secret way the. It's a, just a generic tuner. Yeah. Oh, secret okay. way the Fortress and the Force it back, and then you have like a bunch of damage, and then Mayfist you rip your hand. Oh. It's pretty nice. Pretty I never. Nice. 
All right, yeah, man. That's the deck. Thank you so much, Joey, and we'll hope to see you soon. Yep. Bye. Bye, Nico. Good job. <laughs>